So we just checked out a negative temperature coefficient thermistor and we had it at measuring ambient air temperature. So remember, negative to coefficient thermistors, as temperature increases, resistance decreases. So they go opposite of each other. So when you're checking out a thermistor on the job, it's really important to understand if it's a negative temperature coefficient thermistor or not, as well as the what K ohm range that that thermistor is. Remember, thermistors have large predictable changes in resistance based on small temperature changes in the body of the thermistor or the sensing part of the thermistor. So this was a 20 K ohm thermistor that we measured and this is difficult to see so we're going to blow this up here just a bit and, and see how we did. So it was 76 degrees Fahrenheit 19.55 K ohms or 1955 ohms. So our resistance measurement fell right in between these two here and it, we were at 76 degrees Fahrenheit. So probably our thermocouple that we had taped to it is off just a little bit, but we're within a degree or two. So if you take a thermistor and put it in a glass of ice water or, or you know it's going to be 32 degrees, or if you put it in your hand, it's going to be 98 degrees or so. You can see if it responds to the temperature change like it should. So we had 19.6, for the sake of argument, 0.6 K ohms. And we were right at 76 degrees. So the thermistor is reading within a degree or two of where it should. So we can assume at this point that that thermistor is good.